And as that powerful storm was arriving in Cape Elizabeth this morning, a fishing boat with four people on board ran aground. Our Chris Costa was on the scene today and has the details. I'm Chris Costa here in Trundy Point in Cape Elizabeth, and what you're looking at over my shoulder is a 50-foot fishing vessel. Good news here, nobody was hurt. The Coast Guard actually got the distress call from this boat around 1236 in the morning. That's when they dispatched the Cape Elizabeth Fire Department's wet team to do a water rescue. They got all four crew members safely off that boat back into shore. But we've talked to several people, including somebody who says he's repaired that boat in the past. He said he just did an overhaul in November and that he does not believe he's going to be able to fix that. Because if you can see, there are massive holes in the hull of that boat on the bottom uh, as it has just been tossed around by this powerful waves and wind from this uh, highest tide of the month during the storm here. The wind very, very strong, also creating very strong waves. We talked to people who live in this area who say this is unusual. Because of the little coves that things are usually protected, and in most days down here, you never see the water come up this high. Unbelievable. I've, I've been down, you know, here in Cape 20 years, and I do a lot of filming down here, but I've never seen um, the ocean this wild and, this, and a ship unbelievable. This is a very rough area out here with lots of rocks and so the wave breaks actually from two sides here. So it's probably the worst place a boat can end up right outside of here um, in the trendy point. When, when you saw this for the first time, seeing this boat in yeah. the situation it's in, what was your reaction? This, well, <laughs> my God, you know, are there people down there? Uh, so, but my understanding is they were rescued, so that's good to hear. Now, the people who told us about this boat say that they were going to try to salvage this during the high tide, but it was simply too rough. So, it remains to be seen how they're going to take care of this shipwreck. And what the Coast Guard is now trying to figure out is a couple of things. One, has any diesel fuel from this boat spilled into the ocean? We could smell it earlier. The second part of their investigation is why were they out? Were they returning from an offshore fishing trip and trying to come back into port in the middle of the night? when they made that distress call. Those details will be ironed out, but probably not until after this storm subsides. In Cape Elizabeth, I'm Chris Costa.